what is good diamond dynasty baby y'all already know what's going on in this video today this is part two okay i'm gonna be doing a reaction to voice for the people reacts i'm gonna call her kim okay i feel like we know each other now i'm gonna call you kim so shout out to kim for making this video that we can react to all right so this part of the video we are going to be talking about trey and senia if you haven't seen the last video that i did i reacted to the first part of the video regarding runic tv and his baby moms, okay? So, make sure that you guys go check out that video. Let's get into this one, man. Make sure that you do go cop your merch. You will see the link in my description down below. Also, you will see it in the pinned comments. So, everybody who's been copping, I appreciate you guys so much. And make sure that you tell a friend to tell a friend today. Ain't your mom today, Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. Let's get right into this video, man. Let's get it. So, we're gonna see exactly what's going on with Trey and Senia. I believe that they might be back together. I'm not quite sure, all right? So let's see exactly what's going on in this video, man. Let's talk about Trey and Asenia because obviously y'all went and saw somebody else's video. Y'all came to my DM saying that they got back together. Just because someone commented underneath a picture. What did it say? Trey says, I'm like, come and put that on me. Don't be running from me. Come and put that on me. Don't be running from me. Senia says, you look good. You look fire, baby, with the red hearts, baby. Trey sends back a red heart in the kissy face with the little heart. I'm going to just say this. If y'all don't remember not too long ago, Trey and Senia did spend Valentine's Day together. Valentine's Day was not too long ago, okay? It was a couple weeks back. So, with that being said, y'all, it seems like ever since Valentine's Day, from what the public could see, what the viewers could see, Trey and Senia might not have been back together, but they were still vibing and they were still hanging out. We'll say hanging out, okay? Because like Kim says, if y'all don't know who Kim is, Kim is the person behind the voice for the people, okay? Shout out to Kim. And... Kim is correct when she does say that it doesn't necessarily mean they are back together just because of a post. Let's continue. Does not 100% mean that they're back together because Trey also, True. after he posted that picture, he answered some questions and he said, somebody asked him what he was doing and he said, I'm in a king size bed alone. So it's not 100% if he's back with Asenia. We don't know that, okay? So I get that. And it could be he was in a king size bed alone for the moment and maybe Asenia, you know, was on the way. Or you never know what that was either. So you can interpret things the way you would want to interpret it, okay? Somebody might interpret this as, oh, yeah, they definitely back together. Somebody else might interpret it, man, they just fucking around. You know, they just fucking or whatever the case may be. Or somebody else might say, man, they just doing this for attention. So everybody has their own interpretation of what happened or is what, what is happening with Trey and Senia. So I want to know from y'all, from the viewers, okay? What do you guys think is going on with Trey and Senia? Do you guys technically think that they are together? Or do you think that they are still broken up, but they do have a kid together? So they probably smash from time to time. Maybe they're just enjoying each other's company without a title. You know, let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Y'all watch other people's video and they have their own content on their channel where they want to tell you stuff. But unless I got the complete receipt, you know what I mean? I come with receipts. <laughs> <laughs> majority of the time when you watch my video i say about 80 percent of the time i have receipts 20 percent of the time we're talking about it to get that person to talk about it so we can get the receipt i know that's <laughs> right you see where we going with this i know okay. that's right we already talked about it they basically not acknowledging it we'll see what will happen moving forward now let's go on moving on now this was a, something else that everybody's hitting me up in the dms and showing me the video please stop showing me this video of chris sales i do not want to see it y'all was flooding my dms of videos with chris and i'm like yo i don't want to see this him and his girlfriend they recorded like a 10 seconds everything is real short 10 seconds why is it why she moan like that 20 seconds i haven't seen any of these videos yo like little clips i guess he basically trying to lure you in first with, with like little clips and then he probably gonna hit you with the music and be like oh this is really facts cool music. i don't know facts. but people been looking at it on once again i said it in the previous video i'm gonna say it again when you choose to invest and subscribe to somebody's OnlyFans, you have to know that you don't know what the fuck you're getting yourself into, bro. There's people who don't show anything on OnlyFans. There's millions of IG baddies, baddies, right, who post the same content 
in their bikinis that they do on OnlyFans. You're not getting anything extra. You're not getting anything special. For So honestly, OnlyFans is really a subscription if you are a fan of that person. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that people are going to be slanging dick, buzzing out coochies. It doesn't necessarily mean that. So stop expecting something from somebody and then getting mad when you say you got scammed because you invested $20 a month, $50 a month on somebody's OnlyFans. If you're a true fan, right? You're going to be supporting anyway. Now, like I said, if somebody goes out there and sets the intention that, yeah, I'm going to be slanging dick, I'm going to be fucking these hoes, they're going to be slugging my dick, all this shit, then I could say, all right, if I don't see this on their page, they're scamming. But if somebody is just saying, hey, click the link in my bio, the shit lit, or whatever the case may be, you can't be mad because it may be lit to him, it may be lit to somebody else, just because it's not lit to you doesn't mean it was a scam, all right? On Twitter, I don't really want to see it. I know a lot of people were commenting like, oh, it's, it's little. Oh, he Everybody keeps saying he got a shrimp shit. You know, did he really show his stuff on the internet? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if Christopher motherfreaking sells show this shit on the internet. Please let me know, guys. I don't think he did. I really don't. But like I said, he be all on IG Live showing his little, you know, thing. His little bulge um, through his boxer briefs. So, and he was doing that for the free. So, like I said, he could get some money. He he already made 20K, at least 20K off of OnlyFans. So, I'm pretty sure that Chris can definitely use OnlyFans and make it a lucrative business for him. Okay? Because he did so much shit just for attention and for the free that if he just posted that on OnlyFans... Pretty sure he would do well. He's embarrassing. Why would he bring this little shrimp out? I'm oh. not saying nothing. The tweets oh. are saying this. Y'all leave y'all comments oh, down below. Man. If y'all saw the video, let me know what y'all thoughts are on the video. But I really don't have much to say That's when it tough. comes to Chris Sales and his OnlyFans account. That's but y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Until next Wow. Well, guys, hey. I don't know, man. Look. Um... Uh, yeah, that, that is what it is, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend to the angel mama today, Uncle Joey Stillo. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby. Uh -huh.